who are just the mayors just coming up. Now, David Cameron won an overall majority in May of 2015. He's gone soon after. Mr Goldsmith won by 23,000. We'll now hear what's happened tonight. Let's go straight to Richmond. I, Councillor David Lynette, being the returning officer for the Richmond Park constituency, declare that the total number of votes given to each candidate is as follows. Goldsmith, Frank Zacharias Robin, known as Zach Goldsmith, independent, 18,638. Hope Allen, known as Howling Lord Hope, the official monster raving loony party, 184. Jammu and Kashmir Maharaja, One Love Party, 67. Olney, Sarah Jane, Liberal Democrats, 20,500. David, 32. Stockford, Dominic Francis, Christian People's Alliance, 164. Sims, Fiona Natasha, Independent, 173. Walmart, Christian, Labour Party, 1,515. The total number Ballot papers rejected in 78 because they did not bear the official mark, naught. Because votes were given for more than one candidate, 21. Because there was something written or marked on the ballot paper by which the voter could be identified, one. Because they were unmarked or void for uncertainty, 56. The turnout was 53.6%. I hereby declare that the said Sarah Jane Olney is duly elected as Member of Parliament for the Richmond Park constituency. Yeah! And I now ask the top three candidates to come to the stage. Let me start by thanking the other candidates for a hard-fought campaign. And to Zach Goldsmith in particular, I wish you well and assure you that I will continue your fight against the expansion of Heathrow. I would also like to thank the returning officer, the staff that have worked so hard today and yesterday, and of course the police. I want to thank my amazing campaign team, led by James Lillis. volunteers who have taken time to support me over the course of the campaign. I want to thank my family and friends for the wonderful support they've given me, particularly my husband Ben and our children. And I want to thank our leader Tim Farron and all the other party members who could not have been more supportive. And I would also like to thank the Greens, More United and the Women's Equality Party and all the other people from outside the Lib Dems who helped with the campaign. A year and a half ago, I wasn't involved in politics. I wasn't a member of a political party. I'd never been involved in a political campaign. I'd never thought about being a politician. But I knew I was a liberal. I believed in openness, tolerance, compassion, working with our neighbors at home and around the world. And when I saw what happened at the general election last year, I felt I had to get involved. I think a lot of people in this community had the same feeling this summer after the referendum. Richmond Park is full of people like me who felt that something was going wrong, that the politics of anger and division were on the rise, that the liberal, tolerant values we took for granted were under threat. We were seeing the UKIP vision for Britain in the ascendancy, intolerant, backward-looking, divisive, just as we see it in America and across Europe. Well, today, 
we have said no. We will defend the Britain we love. We will stand up for the open, tolerant, united Britain we believe in. The people of Richmond Park and North Kingston have sent a shockwave through this conservative Brexit government and our message is clear. We do not want a hard Brexit. We do not want to be pulled out of the single market and we will not let intolerance, division and fear win. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This by-election that we've just had was not a political calculation. It was a promise that I made and it was a promise that I kept. It has been a huge, huge, huge privilege to serve and represent this community over the last six years and I will miss doing it. This is my community. I grew up here. I live here. I love this community. Um, but I'm extremely grateful to everyone who backed me in this campaign. I'm hugely grateful to my brilliant team, many of them over there, who persevered in a small bunker in what felt like a siege for the last uh, four intense weeks. I'm grateful to all of them. And I'm grateful also to my family, who now I suppose may get to see a little bit more of me uh, in the coming weeks and months. I wish Sarah well in her uh, a very, very important job, and I hope she serves this community as well as this community deserves. Thank you very much. Mr. Walmart. I must uh, congratulate Sarah on a stunning victory. Many people in this constituency wanted to vote Labour, but they lent you their votes to defeat Zach and the Tories. But a word of warning, Sarah, look after them. Don't make the mistake of the coalition and become Tory light, as you will suffer the same fate as the coalition did. This too is a vote against Brexit, and I welcome that. I noticed how even those who had voted leave were now having second thoughts. Above all, it's a vote against Tory policies of austerity and cuts. It is, too, a great personal indictment for Zach Goldsmith and his ghastly, disgusting mayoral campaign, which came up frequently on the doorstep. Let me make a point about Labour here. Some people said we should not stand, but by doing so, by taking a strong stand against Brexit, we helped push the Lib Dems into taking a strong stand. By attacking Zach, I helped the Lib Dems too. Indeed, one of the Lib Dems came up to me after one of the hustings and said, thank you for helping Sarah. Labour remains the party of hope, the party that defends the disadvantage. And we uh, leave the losing Zion Labour candidate the there. He got only just about 1,500 votes. The big news tonight is a dramatic overwhelming victory for the Liberal Democrats in the Richmond Park uh, by-election, overturning a massive Tory majority in 2015 and winning quite comfortably in a turnout of 54 per cent by almost 2,000 uh, majority. Not quite, but almost. Let's just have a look at the details. Sarah Orney, the new uh, MP, Liberal Democrat MP for Richmond Park. And now it means that there is a female MP for the Liberal Democrats in the House of uh, Commons uh, there because they lost what ones they had in the election. Uh, she took 20,510 votes. Zach Goldsmith, who triggered this by-election by resigning over Heathrow expansion, and in the end came second, 18,630 votes. Labour coming a very poor third at 1,500, but the Labour vote would be squeezed there, be as all out of votes were between the two front runners. It looks like to me that they've probably just held on to their deposit. Oh, no, they haven't. And a quick calculation, they've lost their deposit. But again, Labour was never in the running uh, for here at all. And then the two other candidates getting under 200 uh, uh, votes. So, Quite an overturn, and as we listen to Mr. Goldsmith uh, there, uh, he must have wondered what had happened when he called this election by election, by, by resigning as a Conservative MP. He was defending a majority of 23,000. Uh, this is a seat now with a Lib Dem majority 
of 1800 plus and the new MP Sarah Olney will take her seat in the House of uh, Commons.